Hello, my name is Graham Devine, lead designer on Halo Wars. I'm very excited to give you this early glimpse of the game. Halo Wars is set in the year 2531, right as the UNSC have retaken a planet called Harvest. We follow the adventures of a UNSC support vessel called Spirit of Fire. One crew member, the ship's AI Serena, will be helping me out today. Let's get to the demo. This is Halo Wars, built from the ground up for the Xbox 360. If you're through taking the scenic route, we need your help. Yeah, get a move on, boys. These are UNSC Hawks. They're one of the new vehicles we've added into the game. Covenant are on the move north of the base. Why don't we go get a little firing practice in? Before we go get some firing practice in, let's take a look around the base. This is a UNSC base, built by humans. Humans work here, humans live here. We really wanted to get that feel across. So here's some guys working on warthogs. Lots of extra wheels. This is a UNSC air pad, some hawks hanging out in the runway. This is an example of a building that you can actually make in the game. In fact, all of these are buildings that you can make in the game. Some missile silos. Two guys standing uncomfortably close to the edge. So back here is a really good example of the human flair we've added into the game. UNSC infantry doing push-ups. Here we have supply depots, bringing down supplies from Spirit of Fire, which is orbiting overhead. A command center and vehicle depots where we keep all of our warthogs and scorpions. A selection is a really important part of any real time strategy game, and there's lots of really good ways to select units in Halo Wars. One of the easiest ways is to point at the squad and press A, yes, sir. and then you can press X to move that squad around. Moving out. Sir, on my way. Another way is to double press on the A button. Which selects all squads of the same type on the screen at the once. A third way is to press and hold down the A button, which brings up a paintbrush, allowing me to paint the squads I wish to use. Standing by. Standing by. Affirmative. Affirmative. So let's take these squads up and engage the Covenant. Yes, sir. On my way. Why don't we get some warthogs up here? Go to get some methane tanks. Those needles are chewing up our infantry. We brought the wrong squad to the battle. Awaiting order. Moving out. So let's jump back to our base. Using the D-pad, I can jump around the map very quickly. I can jump back to my base, back to my battles, and back to my armies. Selecting the vehicle depot, I ring up what we might consider to be the most important menu in the game, the circle menu. It takes up the whole screen. You use it from everything from building, infantry, to building, vehicles, building, buildings, and calling in leader powers. I go around it using the analog joystick, and I can select any one of these vehicles here. Pressing A, I can make a Warthog. Warthog reporting. Warthogs are perhaps the most iconic vehicle from the Halo games. Everyone knows what a Warthog sounds like, looks like, feels like, drives like. So getting that right in Halo Wars was really important. So we build a lot of physics into the engine. Moving out. It fishtails around, it moves, and it drives, just like a Warthog from the Halo games. And you'll see this in all the other vehicles we have too. So I'm going to build another Warthog here. For duty. Firing. And let's go up 
and re-engage those coming in. Doing much better this time. Another well, good way to take out the Covenant is always to run over them. I'm getting some real time damage there on my Warthog. This is a really good time to look at the graphics we have in the game. The beautiful shadows and lights. So territory control is also really important in a real-time strategy game. Whoa, boys. Picking up some big stuff in front of you. Reinforcements are on the way. That canyon might stop a lot of vehicles. But let's see what Warthogs can do there. Warthogs can gain strategic control of areas of the map that other vehicles can't get to. Reinforcements incoming. So here we have a much larger conflict between the Covenant and the UNSC. We have a lot of Covenant infantry. So we're going to have to bring in our Warthogs to start to get to work on that. isn't the infantry. It's the Banshees flying overhead. They're just chewing me up. I've got nothing shooting at them. My Warthog is concentrating on the infantry, and my own infantry can shoot at the Banshees, but it's not really been very effective. I'm gonna have to get some help. Wolverines at your disposal. Wolverines are the UNSC anti-air vehicle. They're a really powerful anti-air unit. They'll be able to take care of those Banshees no problem at all. But I'm gonna to have to keep them protected on the ground. Boots on the ground. I'm gonna bring in some more infantry to back me up. But it looks like the Covenant are bringing out some ghosts. Those plasma cannons are gonna to start to chew up my vehicles. Some scorpions inbound. Get them on those ghosts. So I'm going to bring in some heavy armor here. And let's see if we can turn the tide of this battle around. I don't think those ghosts are going to be a problem anymore. But the Covenant always have one more little trick. Well, this is new and scary. Ready. I'm going to select everything I have and get it to fire at that scarab. Scarab kind of has an anti-everything gun. I'm losing. The Mac is online and primed. Payback time. I've got Spirit of Fire overhead though, orbiting, and it has a Mac. Let's aim it and see what it does. Firing! I think that's a pretty good point to end this demo. Thanks for watching, guys.